Hey y'all, how are you? I'm sitting in my potting station this morning, getting a bunch of more seeds planted. Yesterday, I got... This big tray planted. Or seed started anyway. Got those done. Today I'm going to put these in some water to soak for 24 hours. And then I have another uh, seed starting kit. There's 72 cells in here. I picked this up at Walmart for $4 and something, almost $5. You can pick up one too. Of course I pay for all my stuff myself because nobody's watching <laughs> and nobody knows. But we are recording this for those who do know about my channel and those who stop by and those who support me. And you'll be able to see what's happening here. Hopefully you're getting out and planting in your garden making yourself feel better. It's good for the soul and it'll feed you. It'll feed your soul and your belly. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to start these in some water. I just had this little empty yogurt cup. I put some tepid water in it uh, to get these started. It says to soak them for 24 hours. So, good thing about these is, oops, they're big enough you can see them. Some of the seeds I've been planting are so itty bitty, even with my glasses, I can't see what I got. Uh, so, I put half in the water to soak. I'm going to save the other half. I might share these with somebody and get some started for me. Yesterday, I did pick up some organic uh, chamomile. This is... The original, let's see, Seeds of Change brand. I picked them up at Tractor Supply. Um, I did have a few seeds, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to plant a big plot of this chamomile for the tea gardens. Excellent for calming yourself um, in these times. You need to be calm. And this is a good way to do it without having to use any other kind of drugs. Things like that. Again, I am not a doctor. Do your research. See if it's going to mess with any of your medicine or any of your other conditions. Uh, but chamomile is a calming herb and you can steep it in some tea. So I will be planting a lot of this for my family. One of my sons does drink a lot of chamomile tea. tea. Um, he doesn't take other medications at all. This is how he calms himself for his severe anxiety. So works well for him. I also make oils and things like that for um, anxieties and things. So using my herbs. If you're looking for something to mark your plants as you're doing them and you can't find some kind of cool markers, popsicle sticks in the craft stick section for about a dollar, maybe 25 I think they were work fantastic. In these little cells, we had to cut them in threes. They'll cut easy with a pair of scissors. Um, that way the top would go on them. But if you're just putting them in a big plant pot or out in your actual big garden, they work just fine. And for a dollar something, get you just, this is what I use, big sharpie marker. Fantastic. Very cheap. These are the array of seeds I'm working out of today. Uh, yesterday, I did get <clears throat> the lemon balm, the yarrow, motherwort, St. John's wort, valerian, and echinacea planted. That was in the cells that I showed you over there. Um, today, I'm going to get a load of the chamomile planted. I think I'm going to just start that in a bigger pot because... I know I want to plant a lot of it and I can save these cells for something that I'm just doing a smaller amount of to not waste it. Oh, I did plant toothache plant too. And if you watch my video from yesterday, you'll know all about toothache plant. This is what it looks like just in case you didn't watch the video from yesterday. 
or day before, whatever it was, where I was showing the seeds. Uh, toothache plant, if you cannot get to the dentist, because sometimes, you know, the appointments are months out and things like that, that will uh, numb your mouth. It comes in the bullseye, and it also comes in a yellow one that's very beautiful and very prolific. You won't have to worry. It germinates fantastic. Put it in the soil and forget it, pretty much. It'll grow everywhere. I planted it in, we took a, um old barbecue pit. Uh, my husband took the top off, and then he saved the bottom. He made a stand for the top, and then just used what the bottom was, and we filled it with dirt, <clears throat> and the whole thing grew full of it, full of it, coming out from, and then the next year it replanted itself. So there's still some in there for the new owners when they, um, when the spring weather gets in Missouri, they're going to have some toothache plant. They may have to ask me what it is. They're going to have that and they're going to have comfrey because, let me tell you, I have a wheelbarrow that this comfrey grows in and every year it grows back in there. I don't have to do anything with it. And the captain was loading the truck. And he decided to dump the dirt out, and he didn't think to ask, is there anything in this bucket? So all of my comfrey from that old plant that I've had many years was dumped on the ground in Missouri. So it will grow all over their backyard as well. So they'll already have medicinal plants and won't even know it um, unless they know what they're looking at. So they already have plants started on theirs. I need to get me some new comfrey started. I use that in the salves and things like that. <sighs> Are you planting? Are you planting? I sure hope so. I hope you're planting. I hope you're taking heed to the warnings that we're giving you. Things are getting bad, folks. And if you haven't figured that out and you're still just saying, oh, I have this big old bunch of tax money or, you know, whatever, and I'm going to go on these big vacations and I'm going to rent these big properties that next month I'm not going to be able to afford, you better start thinking about it. Um, we shifted our focus, like I told you already, I think we were going to buy a big property, a big farm, um, and put ourselves in a good amount of debt. <clears throat> but what we're thinking now is we're going to just pay cash for land and do our tiny houses on there and build a whole community, um, and take care of our people. So that's what you should be doing right now. Uh, take care of your people. Don't be looking for somebody to take care of you. If you're not going to work as a community. Or you're not going to actually work. Uh, for the betterment of the group. Of your tribe. Uh, your tribe can be family. Your tribe can be people. Who have skill set. Who you get along with. Who are going to work. You need them on your side. A lot of you are still sitting there in denial. This is not happening. Um, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I got several messages the other day from family asking about the beach trip. Let me uh, just speak on that a minute here in case you're family watching. And in case you're, even if you're not, uh, we have decided that since gas is so high uh, and the world is in such turmoil at the second, it would not be a smart thing to spend a great amount of money on a trip at this moment. Um, we want to utilize our money and our time to be gathering and filling our freezers and using that money um, for the good of for the good of us. And you should be doing that too as well. So we will go to the beach, but when we go to the beach, it will be to be harvesting uh, the Gulf. We will be down there to catch fish for the freezers. Uh, we'll be down there to get shrimp to fill the freezers up. Um, all of those things when, as the season goes. No, I can't give you a date um, because the weather and what's going on in the world is so crazy. It'll be impromptu. We'll just get in the car and go. So... You know, we'll give you all a message then or whatever. But if you're not coming to work, uh, that's what we're going down there for. We're go going down there to get the food and bring it back. So um, you might want to plan your trips around that. If you're just going for fun, you might want to make your trip at a different time than we are. If you're going to harvest for yourself and your families as well, you're more than welcome to come. Um We'll just have to let you know because everything these days 
and in this present time, especially, will be as it comes. Just as it comes, because we don't know. So, those are a few things I wanted to talk to you about today, or at this moment. We are going to get a whole lot of rain in a little bit, so my potatoes will be getting watered, and my onions will be getting watered, and we won't be doing a lot of planting outside today. We will be filling these seed cells. Let me show you one more time again. These are just four dollars and some change, so like five dollars. Playing on five dollars at Walmart. You could probably pick them up anywhere. There are seventy-two cells in here, so that's seventy-two plants. If everything you put in here germinate and you take care of it, seventy-two things. Chances of food. Need to get some food. I know y'all. Some of y'all, especially some of the family, laughing at me and say, "You crazy woman." There is nothing gonna happen. It already has. What are you talking about? It already has. Food prices are so high, it's double. Gas prices are high as they've been in a long time. They have reached $4 before. People have forgot about that. Um, but we are at a time it's back there again. Things repeat themselves. Most of it, a lot of you don't have a job. If you do have a job, it's not paying the money that it used to. Um, those of you who are on government assistance of some kind, the food stamps are not stretching like they used to. Get out and grow that garden. Ain't nobody going to take care of you. It's time to prepare. And, you know, people say, <clears throat> well, your family, you're going to take care of me. No. I've offered over and over and over again, many, many years. People come on. People come on. People come on. And nobody wants to do the work. They want to reap the benefits, <clears throat> but they don't want to do the work at all. So those are things you need to consider when you're considering who you're going to take care of uh, when crap does hit the fan further than it already has. And this is progressing. Uh, the thing that just happened, I don't really want to speak a whole lot of it, but um, a missile strike just recently. Things are going to kick off. If you don't think they aren't, you, you've got your head in the sand. <laughs> so start thinking about it. What are you going to do? Stop procrastinating. Stop saying nothing's going to happen and do something. Something is better than nothing at all. I mean, you know, I, I remember back when the pandemic started, a lot of the people in the family said, oh, we're going to get a freezer. Oh, we're going to fill the cabinets. We're going to do this and that. And they may or may not have got the freezer. They might have started stocking. But then as time went on, they're like, they felt comfortable and they got complacent. It's not a time to be complacent. It's not a time for all of the trips. I am a gypsy traveler. I love it. But I know right now I need to be building, uh, no matter whose property I'm building it on. Uh, we have family land. The family land is getting lots of food put on it. Lots of food. And so I will continue to share that journey. This is not to badmouth anybody or say things like that. This is to wake you up. This is to remember. Remember what we talked about two years ago and now realize that you've got complacent and you need to do something and you need to do it quick. So I'm going to be busy here planting. Leave me in the comments. Tell me what you're doing. Are you? What are you doing today? What is your weather like today? What are you doing to prepare for anything? Sickness, another war, uh, continuing to rise prices, a collapse of things, a trucker strike, whatever. What are you doing for your family? What do you do? What are you doing? Not what is the whole family doing? What are you doing? You have to help. You can't count on everybody else. When people see you helping and helping yourself, then they're more apt to help you. When they see you sitting there and you out going to do all of these fun things while they're preparing for everybody, they're not so much apt to help you. So think about that. Um, what are your thoughts? What are your comments? What are you saying under your breath while I'm talking to you? Put it in the comments. I don't care what you say. Say what you think. I want to know. Anyway, uh, much love y'all. Y'all be seeing more videos as we plant, as we prepare, as we continue. When we get out and do the fishing, I'll be putting those videos on here as well. Much love. Y'all stay safe. And I hope you're listening. Don't be doing this.
Don't be doing this. Listen. You got to listen. Okay? Much love, y'all. See you in the next one.